दिस इज नीलिट टू थाउजेंड सेवनटीन क्वेश्चन इफ ए एंड बी आर टू सेट्स एंड ए यूनियन बी इज इक्वल टू ए इंटरसेक्शन बी देन वॉट विल हैपन देन वॉट यू कैन से अबाउट ए कोमा बी सेट ए कोमा बी सो लेट सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन ए यूनियन बी इज इक्वल टू ए इंटरसेक्शन बी दिस इज गिवन टू यू ए यूनियन बी इज इक्वल टू ए इंटरसेक्शन बी दिस इज गिवन टू यू नाउ वॉट यू कैन से अबाउट ए कोमा बी दिस इज द क्वेश्चन ओके सो वॉट डू यू थिंक फ्रॉम यूर ऑब्जर्वेशन वॉट डू यू थिंक वॉट विल हैपन इफ ए यूनियन बी इक्वल टू ए इंटरसेक्शन बी देन ए विल बी इक्वल टू बी ये सो नो ए इक्वल टू बी बट यू कैन प्रूव इट सी लेट सी द मैथड नंबर वन लेट सी द मैथड नंबर वन लेट्स क्रिएट द वेन डायग्राम ओके सो दिस इज योर यूनिवर्सल सेट सो दिस इज द यूनिवर्स ओके लेट्स कॉल इट ओमेगा सो दिस वॉट इज दिस ओमेगा दिस इज योअर यूनिवर्सल सेट ओके और यू कैन से दिस इज द यूनिवर्स नाउ इन दिस यूनिवर्स यू हैव टू सेट वन सेट इज सेट ए अनदर सेट इज सेट बी नाउ वॉट द क्वेश्चन इज सेंग द क्वेश्चन इज सेंग दैट दिस ए यूनियन बी दिस इज इक्वल टू ए इंटरसेक्शन बी ओके सो वन थिंग आई वॉन्ट टू आस्क यू दीज आर द एरियाज लुक एट दिस दैट इफ यू हैव टू सेट देन दीज आर द एरियाज एरिया नंबर वन you can see that this will be area number 1 area number 2 area number 3 area number 4 so these are the areas you tell me one thing if a a union b equal to a intersection b if this is given then is it possible there is some element in the area number 2 is it possible my question is this is given a union b is equal to a intersection b okay means what it means first of all what is a union b area a union b area that is the area 2 3 4 Yes or no? Area two, three, four. This is A union B, and which area is A intersection B? A intersection B. This area is area three, and they are equal. So, tell me if they are equal, then is it possible there is some element in the area number two? Okay, is there? Is it possible there is some element in here? Is it possible? Can you have some element here? Can you have some element here? Means in this area, can you have some element? Tell me one thing. If you have some element here, then, then is it possible that a union b can be equal to a intersection b? If you have some element here in this area, if I have this element, then what will happen? Then this element will belong to a union b, but this will not belong to, but this will not belong to a intersection b. Okay, yes or no? So you can notice if a union b equal to a intersection b, then in this area you cannot have any element. very simple observation yes or no so from here what you can say you can say that there is no element in area 2 there is no element in area 2 in area 2 also there is no element in area 4 yes or no agree with me can you have some element here is it possible you can have some element in area number 4 can you have some element in this area you cannot have because if you have some element here then this element will belong to a union b but this will not belong to this will not belong to a intersection b okay so you can see they will not be equal a union b a intersection b they will not be equal so we cannot have any element in the area number 4 so this is what i am saying that no element in area 2 no element in area 4 now you tell me if there is no element in area 2 comma 4 okay from here what you can say there is no element in area number 2 there is no element in area number 4 it simply means what is this set a this set a is this one only yes or no tell me see there is no element here this is empty notice this this area is empty so this set a is equal to this area only yes or no set a is equal to this area only set b is equal to this area only so a is equal to b yes or no is this clear so a is equal to b because there is no there is no element there is no element in this area there is no element in this area so the set b is this and the set a is this so set a comma b they are basically the area number 3 they are basically the area number 3 yes or no so finally i can say a is equal to b so very simple is this clear please tell me is this method clear very simple now let me tell you the method number 2 what is method number 2 to solve this same question okay let's see so basically what we want to prove we want to prove that 
if this happens then a will be equal to b then a will be equal to b okay let's see how can you prove it let's see the proof and the proof is also very simple tell me one thing if you want to prove equality of two set then what you will do i told you if you want to prove that two set are equal then what you will do in the lectures we have already seen this this we have already seen that to prove to prove set s is equal to set t what you need to do what you need to do you need to do that set s is subset of t and set t is a subset of s these two things you need to do agree with me okay now you tell me how to prove s is subset of t how to prove that tell me how to prove s is subset of t let me know again to prove if you want to prove that this s is subset of t what will be the method you will use okay this is the method the proof will be like this okay the idea is like this basically the idea is okay assume x belongs to s assume this element belongs to s now what you do now assume x belongs to s then prove that then show that then show that x also belongs to t yes or no is this clear so assume that x belongs to s then show that x belongs to t so very simple okay now the same thing we are going to do here okay so let's see the method number 2 the same thing we are going to do here so tell me this is given to you now we want to prove a is equal to b so that you can easily do okay let's assume so there are two things first we prove okay first the okay so this is what we will prove to prove we will prove that a is subset of b okay first i will prove this and then i will prove then i will prove what then i will prove b is a subset of a yes or no can you do this take your copy pen do this with me i am also doing you also do first i will prove a is subset of b so what should i do we need to prove this this is what we need to prove so tell me what i will do very simple i will assume that x belongs to a yes or no this is the first step i will assume x belongs to a now you tell me if x belongs to a then then x will belong to a union b yes or no okay if x belongs to a then what will happen then what will happen x belongs to a union b agree with me do you agree with me if x belongs to a then x will belong to a union b now this is already given a union b equal to a intersection b okay it is already given what is given it is given that a union b is equal to a intersection b they are same okay these two are these two are same so now what i can say so now what i can say so i can say x belongs to a intersection b yes or no okay x belongs to a union b it is given that a union b equal to a intersection b so i can say x belongs to a intersection b okay from here can i say x belongs to b from here can i say x belongs to b from here x belongs to a intersection b x is common in a comma b x belongs to a intersection b x is common in a comma b so can i say x belongs to b yes so hence proved so what we have proved tell me so what is what is proven hence proved that a is subset of b agree with me okay hence proved a is subset of b is this clear now similarly you can do the other side also now we will prove that b is subset of a now this is what we have to prove this is to be proved okay proven so tell me what you will do again the same thing assume assume x belongs to b okay if x belongs to b then what will happen then x will belong to a union b if x belongs to b then x will belong to a union b it is already given what is given that a union b is equal to a intersection b it is given so a union b equal to a intersection b so i can say x belongs to a intersection b okay from here can i say x belongs to a from here can i say x belongs to a yes okay hence proved what we have proved tell me 
hence proved that b is a subset of a that b is subset of a so a is subset of b okay so we have proved okay what we have done tell me so we have shown we have proven that a is a subset of b and b is a subset of a so what you can say from here from here what you can say you can say a is equal to b so this is your proof number two is this clear so the same question you can do by multiple methods we have done this question by multiple methods tell me is this clear let me know method number one method number two both the method did you understand method one method two both both of them did you understand let me know okay so very simple now let me tell you one thing this is what we have done this is what we have proven this is what we have proven that if this happens if a union b is equal to a intersection b then a equal to b now you tell me is the converse true is the other side true tell me is the other side true converse what will be the converse the converse will be if a is equal to b if a is equal to b then can i say a union b will be equal to a intersection b if a comma b are same then can i say their union and intersection will be same this will be the converse yes or no is this converse true see this we have proven this we have proven tell me if they are same a comma b if they are same can i say their union and intersection will be same yes of course yes of course they are same they are same see this is a and this is b this is a also this is b also so what will be a if a is equal to b okay if a is equal to b then what will be their union what will be their intersection c if a equal to b then a union b is equal to a union a that is equal to a yes or no similarly similarly okay if a equal to b then a intersection b is equal to a intersection a is equal to a so they are basically same yes or no very simple is this clear this side is very simple if a comma b are same set this is a also this is b also this area this is a also this is b also this is a union b also this is a intersection b also is this understood please tell me so both the sides are true agree what i am saying so this is the this is the conclusion this is the conclusion that remember if this happens if this happens then this will happen a union b equal to a intersection b correct okay similarly if this happens then this also will happen so can i say this is if and only if this will also true this is also true so can i say this is if and only if so what we can say so this theorem so this simple theorem that a union b is equal to a intersection b if and only if if and only if if and only if a is equal to b so this is your theorem okay understood please tell me both the sides did you understand see if a comma b are same this side is very simple this side this is very simple if a comma b are same then a union b equal to a intersection b this is very simple and this other side also we have proven yes or no this side also we have done so this is your theorem you don't have to write this theorem in your notes will you write this theorem in your notes will you do that don't do that this is a simple question okay just trust your analytical skills in the gate exam if this question comes you can do it just trust your analytical skills okay both the sides we have seen you can prove this side also and you can prove this side also both the sides are very easy and we have seen the proof multiple proof we have seen so this is your question very simple question and we have done the complete analysis of this question so tell me if this happens then what you can say you can say a will be equal to b correct so the answer for this question answer will be option d